Hello everybody, so today we are haymaking. Hopefully in this video I'm going to cover a bit of everything, a bit of tedding, a bit of raking and baling at the end. Um, didn't get any mowing because so far this year I haven't managed to film any mowing at all and everything, first cut everything is now cut. So fingers crossed for second cut, we might catch some um, I did do a little bit of mowing last weekend which will be hopefully coming up in a future video um, but it's not much so fingers crossed for second cut a bit of mowing coming later in the year so regular viewers will notice we are in a different tractor today so we are in the 7614 and I quite often get comments why don't I drive this much <coughs> or do I ever drive it because it doesn't appear much uh, and I'm driving it today, crying just a little bit, because I started out this morning on my tractor, the, the 5712, and it's broken down, so I had a little cry. And um, got this one brought out, and now uh, we're back going again. Not entirely sure what's going wrong with it. Somehow the fan, I, I suspect the bearing's gone in the fan pulley. Um, on the water, you know, the water pump kind of thing. I don't think, I don't think the water pump is driven off a belt these days. Um, I know on the Perkins engines it's not. I know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's driven on these Sisu, Saizu engines. Um, I guess when we get into looking at it, we will find out. Uh, but yeah, it got hot, overheated. Uh, looked under the bonnet, all the belts are chewed up. The fan is all kind of fell off. I don't think it's damaged the radiator, but it's chewed up with all the threads and what it runs on. And yeah, so he's parked up over there. So look out for a recovering a broken tractor video, because that will have to go on a trailer. Uh, it can't be fixed here, we are away on rented ground, um, and we can't get somebody to come and mend it here because it's all locked up. So we've got to get it home. It will drive onto a trailer, and uh, that will be another job we've got to do. So we are making hay on two biggish fields, probably 42 or 3 acres between the power of them. There's nice, nice size fields to work in. Um, you would have seen in a previous video we bailed and wrapped two little bits, that's all on the same block. Um, so that's bailed and wrapped up now. And um, we're just making hay on the, the bits what's left. Uh, today is Sunday and I reckon Tuesday well, we, we will be bailing this it's not this we're not going to be there tomorrow um, but we've got perfect hot sunny weather so I reckon Tuesday hopefully we will be bailing so we are just nearing the end of the first field and so what I like to do when I'm haymaking or when we're tedding um, I like to start at a different side of the field every day so that we're not following the same, the tether's not following the same row. Um, so, yesterday, so the last time this field was tethered, um, it started this side and worked across. So, this morning, I started on the far side and I've worked back. And you will see, hopefully, we're not exactly following the same row. I like to cross them just at a slight angle just to make sure that if anything got missed last time. Um, it gets moved this time and uh, there's no little wet spots that by just constantly following the same tether row uh, we're just crossing everything making sure everything gets moved and it keeps things interesting because working the same way for several days in a row you know it's boring grass yield in this field is pretty variable. From just here it tends to lie a little bit wetter, um, it's a bit heavier, I'm just slightly rising up here. Uh, it's still clay, it's still a wet field, um, but it seems to be just on the top here, a little bit thinner, a bit less crop. But it's drying nicely, hopefully you can see it's still nice, it's got it's kept its colour, 
and still nice and green in colour but, but dry in very nicely in this perfect weather and hopefully the weather is going to change at the end of the week so they say well it's not the same at the minute but it's a bit too far away for accurate weather predictions so far but if all goes to plan it should all be bailed up and took home before we get any rain if indeed we do get any rain hello I turn around bales and risk getting a lot of wet square bales. Alright, 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 bye. So, I just had a phone call. That just rang up. Uh, you've seen a weather forecast. It's going to, could be potentially, as I was just saying two seconds ago, uh, rain at the end of the week. Now they have changed and they say rain potentially torrential rain on Wednesday night, late Wednesday. So plans have changed. We're now going to round bale it. Squirrel bales are excellent for speed of clearing the field and you know you can get so many more onto a trailer for hauling and much more efficient in stacking in the shed. You know far more you can get far more bales in a given area squares than you can rounds. But the massive advantage of a round baler, or a round bale, is they are pretty much shower proof. If a round bale gets rained on, it's not a disaster. If square bales get rained on, potentially heavy rain, it just goes straight in. Round bales and will, to an extent, run off and leave them for a day or two out in the field just stack singly you know as they drop from the baler they will dry so plans have changed we will be brown baling this hay so you heard it here first but we're still going to be a tractor down so there will be some Kubota raking action so stay tuned Kubota fans I'm sure there's one somewhere. So we are now uh, next day. Um, as you can see, we are in the Kubota. I don't, don't think this has ever appeared without its loader on. Um, certainly not from in, in the cab. It's, a, it's the most I've ever driven without the loader on. Um, the loader hardly ever comes off. Uh, but it's out in the field today. It's, it's left the yard for a change, which doesn't happen very often either. Um, so we're just running over the tether and we're bailing as well today. The first part's getting bailed. Uh, this bit won't get bailed until tomorrow. So we're bailing. Well, probably going to bail 
15, 16 acres today, I would think. Maybe a little bit more. It's part, kind of a park field. Uh, the whole field's not fit. Probably the biggest part of it is. Uh, and then the rest of it, and this one will be fit tomorrow. Because um, as you can see, again, we've got another bright sunny day, and there's a decent amount of wind today. So that will help with drying. Uh, there's not a great deal of moisture left in this now. It's certainly changed a lot from yesterday. <coughs> but the, the turn and circle on the Kubota is really coming into its own today. It turns much tighter than any other tractor, any other four-wheel drive of any make, I would imagine. You know, Probably in the two-wheel drive territory, really, the maneuverability of this is the uh, this has got. So we can turn around nice and easy on the headlands. Today is floppy. So today is raking baling day. Hopefully you should baler should be going in front of you now. There he goes. Uh, it's a bit of an awkward shape field this one, so we work it two ways. Um, some long runs going that way and then we do some short runs this way. Approaching the end. Uh, my tractor was due to be mended or finished fixing today. Uh, they've been let down on some parts. The parts were due in this morning um, and they haven't arrived. So we're going to be out without it for at least another day. So we are stuck in the Kubota. Quietest place to spend the day. Uh, quality of the hay seems to be pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but it's still the, the colour is, is still in it. Uh, often, if hay's down for a long time, it tends to sun or bleach the colour out. Uh, it's still got a nice green colour to it. Uh, yield seems to be okay. Oh, Another thing with a Kubota, it's very bumpy. Uh, every jolt and jar seems to come through the cab. Uh, and it makes the camera fall off. And um, some yields. Um, not about average, I would say. Not, not fabulous. Uh, but then this type of round is not the highest is the yielding land anyway, uh, but this grass does make nice hay.
So you see folk about with t-shirts that say on them, I'd rather be driving my Ferrari or my Porsche or something. Um, I think what I need is a t-shirt that says, I'd rather be driving my 1200. So yeah, I think I need one of those. Especially when I deal for days when you've got to sit on a Kubota. So here we are just lining up for the last little run. So there we go, that is the final bit of raking for our 2021 hay crop. So hope you enjoyed this little hay video, um, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.